Well, originally I was in sixth grade and I went to an office depot with my mother. And when I was there, I was in the pen section for some reason that I can't recall. But I saw this one pen that was metal and on the picture that was describing it, it had a wide tip which I had never before seen. And it seemed so cool to me because it seemed like those quill pens that I'd always seen in documentaries because when I was younger I was obsessed with history. I still am to a certain extent. And I begged my mother until she got it for me. It was the only thing I was allowed to get for a long time and I was very happy with it. It was a $20 pen. That was insane at the time. Uh, I had never had a pen that was that expensive. I've been using G2s and ballpoints my entire life. And for a long time, I couldn't get any more. I adored this pen, I took care of it, and I cherished it. But once I got into high school and I finally started making my own money, I was able to start getting myself more pens. And I got myself more Pilot pens, and eventually I got this one pen called a Pilot Vanishing Point, which was the first gold nibbed pen. And a nib is the tip of the pen. And it was just the best pen I'd ever used in my entire life. I adored it. And I was just completely down the rabbit hole after that. I started buying more and more pens, and then I started selling pens because I realized I was getting too many. And then I realized I could make money selling pens, and I was buying and selling pens. And I eventually was able to get pens that I had dreamed of having when I was younger and never thought I would have. My favorite pen is actually one I've been searching for ever since I was in the seventh grade, and I only got it this last summer. My favorite pen is actually the Mont Blanc Rouge et Noir Heritage Edition. Uh, it was a pen I had been searching for since the seventh grade. I saw it in a video, uh, and ever since I've been obsessed with it, I had heard that it was just buttery smooth and the nib was bouncy. Because when nibs are made of gold, they have a bit of spring to them, and it just makes the writing experience a lot better. Uh, and I was only able to get this this last summer. I had been searching for it for a long time. I'd had the money for a long time, but there just aren't very many of them on the market, and I was finally able to find someone that had one and I was able to get. I would say these pens have affected my life in some pretty obvious ways, such as a direct hit to my wallet, uh, which has not been small whatsoever, uh, but also in some more subtle ways. When you write with a fountain pen, you have to take more care and you have to take more time when you're writing them, simply because of the way that the nib is designed. And I would honestly recommend that other people at least try writing, just in general. It's more enjoyable with a fountain pen, I would say, and it does lead to just being more careful and enjoying it and making it more beautiful intentionally. But just writing in general is also just very beneficial to you. It causes you to slow down and just think more.